Nation of Fit and 10, it is day 68. And I am just drinking a delicious post training shake. I've probably given you this recipe. I think it's actually in my, uh, no, actually, I don't think it is. Actually, I'm not sure, but why don't I just tell you about it right now? I may have even put it in Slack before, but it's really, really delicious. You can use the Magnum Vanilla Protein Powder or the ATP, doesn't matter. But if you like a vanilla pineapple type shake, this is really good. Trust me. Six ounces of banana, five ounces of frozen pineapple, one scoop, this is what I have in here, one scoop of ATP Labs vanilla grass-fed whey protein, uh, about one cup of almond milk, and 175 grams of low fat, or no fat I should say, Olympic yogurt, regular yogurt, flavorless, 15 grams of glutamine, and one scoop, which is seven grams, of Mayo Prime. Super, super delicious. Very important for recovery. All right, questions. What do I think of bulking? Is bulking something that happens when you lift heavy weights? Who is bulking best for? All right, let's define what bulking is. Bulking is the process of adding mass beyond muscle. That's what bulking is. Now that may include muscle, but it definitely includes fat. Adding lean muscle is not bulking. Adding fat alone, we could consider that as bulking. Adding muscle and fat is bulking. It's basically the overconsumption of calories. A, a drastic overconsumption over of calories. Okay, that's what bulking is. It's putting on essentially fat. And there's really no good reason to do this unless you are extremely low body fat. So here's an example. Let's say you are a competitive bodybuilder and you just you were just did a show, you're super low body fat. You wanna get your body fat levels up. You wanna get your body fat levels up to somewhere, something that's reasonable. If you're male, in that 10 to 16% range. If you're female, in that 18 to 25 range. You wanna get them up to a, a, a decent level which is healthy and conducive to putting on muscle mass. That's right, you need a reasonable amount of, of, uh, of body fat to put on some muscle, but you don't need an extreme amount of fat, okay? So there's a happy medium. Again, a balance with your calories. So what do I think of bulking? I think it's a waste of time. Unless you are, I don't know, a sumo wrestler or a, or a lineman or somebody who needs more overall mass. Okay, and the way to get to bulking is not by doing any specific form of exercise, okay? It's really just getting more calories than you're expending. That's what it's about. Now, most people lift weights when they bulk. Why? Because when they're bulking, they're usually doing for something that's athletic, athletic speaking, or they're trying to add muscle. So they're lifting weights. But the aspect of bulking, more than anything, is just putting on fat. And that comes from calories. That doesn't come from any form of training. Training any form of, of, of lifting, whether it's heavy or, or any form, any form of exercise will not put fat on you. So any form of exercise will not bulk you. Weight training alone with sufficient diet will add lean muscle. Eating too many calories or eating too much is going to put on excessive fat, okay? And as I said, it's really a waste of time unless you are doing it specifically to get your body fat levels up, which there are certain instances of this, okay? All right, what is your opinion on sweat belts? So I don't know if you know, if you know what these are, but these are basically like, um, they tend to be the, these uh, stretchy material type belts that are about yay wide, that you wrap around your uh, abdomen. 
Um, they go typically from your waistline, you know, all the way up to basically the, the bottom of your, of your sternum. And actually a lot of competitors, physique competitors use these because I guess the claim is that you're going to burn more fat around to your belly. But this is just not true, okay? This is just nonsense again. But what it will do is it will cause your body temperature to rise more because you've got this very thick material that's tightly wrapped around your, 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 uh, your waistline. And so you will sweat from that area more because that area is going to heat up more. So you'll lose water. Okay, you'll, and, and losing water, when your body temperature goes up, you're going to expend more calories, right? Your body has to, the body's doing essentially work to try to get its body temperature back down to normal. Part of that is sweating and that's gonna burn calories. So really that's what it's gonna do for you. It's gonna burn more calories. How much more? Probably not that much more. But essentially it's raising your body temperature, okay? All right, how are we doing for time? Six minutes, okay. One more question. How can I exercise without sweating? <laughs> How can I exercise without sweating? All right. And I've, I've, I've been asked this more than once, believe it or not. Some people just don't like sweating. But that, here's the answer. If you don't want to sweat, then you, know, you pretty much have to do nothing because you don't want to raise your body temperature. Now, I guess there, there is a time where you do want to raise your body temperature and you wouldn't sweat, as, and that's if you're in very cold temperature. If you're in super cold temperature and you're moving about, even briskly, you're probably not gonna sweat. I mean, it depends on how much, how many layers you have on, how warm you are. But typically speaking, if you don't wanna sweat, you just lie down and do nothing. Then you won't sweat, okay? And again, I guess that's not true if you're lying in, you know, in the middle of the summertime like it was here. In, in my place, it was friggin' boiling. I was just sweating, doing nothing. But when you're exercising, you are moving about and moving about is going to raise your body temperature and raising your body temperature your body's got to bring that down and part of that will be cooling itself through sweating all right so unless you don't have sweat glands or unless you're in a very cool temperature and you're and you're fighting to keep your body temperature up that's different you won't sweat okay but if you're in you know just average temperature wearing just regular clothes and you say you don't want to sweat when you exercise not possible okay Really not possible. Unless you're doing like the easiest form of exercise possible, like just, you know, casually like just strolling or something. All right, message of the day. Message of the day on this day 68. Man, day 68. I'll say it, or I've said it once and I'll say it again and I've probably said it multiple times already. You don't have to be extreme in order to achieve results. You just have to be consistent. Consistent with the right things. You don't have to be extreme to achieve results. You just have to be consistent. In fact, if you do less, or you, if you don't do it as extreme, but you do it on a consistent basis over a long period of time, your results and whatever it is, they're going to be amazing. That's the thing, they're going to be amazing. And you can't be extreme for a long period of time because you're just going to, it just you know, you're gonna break, right? Any system is going to break if it's extreme. You don't have to be extreme in order to achieve results. In fact, I don't recommend that you do, obviously just for the reasons that I mentioned. I highly encourage you to be consistent, okay? When it comes to changing your body composition, specifically speaking, I'm gonna use that as an example because it applies very strongly to this challenge. It has to be lifestyle based. You are just a reflection of what you do. So if you want to maintain what you have or you want to improve it, you need something that is lifestyle based, lifestyle based, slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. You don't have to be extreme to achieve results. You have to be consistent, right? Consistent with the right things. All right. Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself. And for the love of God, give some gratitude. And uh, we got three days to go, you guys. Three days. Well, three and a half days, I guess. We'll talk to you all soon. See you.